Good morning, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be doing another session in the swamps, and I got my special guest today, and we're gonna do another challenge. So, let me introduce you very quickly. You guys know this guy. Look at the orange tangy kayak. This is an orange kayak crew right here, but that's first state fishing. Looking What's up? Good, man. I'm excited this morning, dude. Hey, 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 hey. no dropping the phone today. <laughs> we're gonna do a fishing challenge where it's gonna be very similar to the last one. Each fish caught is gonna be one point. However, if you use a small lure, like a micro lure, it's gonna be worth two points. So um, we have decided for frogs, if you use anything, Pat Crasher Jr. from Boya, the company Boya, that'll qualify. So let's get to it. You ready, dude? Let's do it, man. I'm excited. All right. Welcome to Jimbo's box, messy box. Okay, so I have a lot of frogs here. This is a snakehead stalker's his uh, snake frog in the mango tango color. This does not qualify for the two points, so I'm gonna put that aside. This, this guy does, which is a smaller frog, so I'll, I'll definitely use that later. I gave Mike some of these Surinoya frogs. As you see, it's been torn up before. Snakey loves them. I got some old school. This is old school, single bladed guys, very old school. And then I have some new crazy stuff, which does not qualify at all, but I'm just gonna use it anyway. I mean, look at this, this is crazy. And then I got some Angry Bird style frogs, very light, five grams. And then I have a, a fan, Daniel from Instagram. He sent me some, some of these small stuff, some Lunker Hunt. And I have no idea what brand this is, but you know, it's crazy stuff. I got some BFS fishing, bait finesse style, which is a ultralight bait caster in the back. And I got some heavy gear. So let's see what's going on. Oh, I got one more thing. I got this jump frogs, which I, you know, never caught anything with. Maybe we'll throw that too. All right, so guys, this is a interesting situation here. It's getting close to full moon. It's been raining a lot lately and the swamp doesn't even look too swampy. Like last time this year, it was, especially with the heat wave from last year, this place was low. And all the fish are basically anywhere, anywhere they want, right? In the shallow, that is. But now that water is so high, I am thinking that all the fish are basically hiding in, like, in those big, big stuff. Like, oh my lord, I, there's like nothing, no bites, no indication of any snakes this morning. And uh, it's a bluebird sky. This morning was like 59 degrees. It's gonna be a tough day. So I better work my butt off. I might have to switch over to a different type of frogs. I might not have to care about two points versus one point, you know, because uh, I think if I just power fish just like how I normally do, I think I'll still catch enough fish, but I, just, I need to put something on the record for first blood. We're pretty competitive. Uh, this place is interesting. I think we have to go bigger frogs. It's gonna get thick up here. This spot usually not open up. So in my opinion, like very soon, the best thing to do is find those thick cover and um, see if they're in there. Cause right now, small frogs may not do it. All right, moment of truth. I actually picked this one out because this one's actually deformed a little bit from right here. But it's okay, everything else, uh, other one is good. I want to see if this thing actually floats cause I've never tried it yet before. And it does float. It looks like it probably pops a little bit. It has a blade, some of them has a blade at the end and it does buzz, so it's, it's nice. Oh, I got first blow up, but he missed completely. He missed it again. It was on a cover. All right, let's see if I could get him again. That's cheap. Uh, fierce, but you know, if you do that, be careful, man. There might be some flying, one ounce lures flying right at your kayak. Okay, okay, okay. This might be something interesting. Oh no, I need to back up, please. Please, 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 please back up. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Oh, where'd it go? I, uh, I think it was, I think it might've been fries. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah. 
días. <risa> Another one. See, there's a freaking snake right in front of me. Yep. The wind that's barely in your favor. <laughs> oh! No, he missed me completely. <laughs> oh, crap! I pulled my knob off because I'm missing the thing, but here we go. Oh yeah. First one, first blood. Let's go. It's so funny, I had to pull my knob off. <laughs> hey, that's not good. Boom. Man, he's cold. All right. All right, guys, so I, got, I actually got this tool here from Aliexpress, which I'm tr gonna try to use to extract my frog. So it's supposed to be like this, push in, and that should push the hook down, and it did unhook him, but because he closed his mouth, I need to open his mouth back up. There's actually another tool that keeps his mouth open. So let me just uh, try this again. Oh, yeah, it's it's out. Just need to... Nope. Nope, nope. I hooked them again. Nope, oh, hooked them again. <laughs> but I see how it works. I think the key is you got to push this down onto the frog, and then you hold the line. And there goes my leopard gripper. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a fail boat uh, tutorial, guys. Today I'm just drinking water, but breakfast here, kind breakfast, honey oat. Let's go, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like to cast it right through these things. <laughs> it goes through the leaves and, and like it gets stuck. Dang, something blew up in there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> all right guys it's uh pretty much four hours in i think and blow ups here and there but not a lot like it was it's terrible so uh i went big big lures screw the small lures the technique is basically i gotta punch through some of these heavy cover and these dangle frogs that i'd be throwing is great because it tilts in and basically the fish can see it easier and it can strike it easier when they're underneath. And I hope you guys like my new hat because it's working really well, staying cool. All right guys, here's another snake. I just caught him, uh, ran out of batteries, while well, hook set, but here it is. So let me get it situated, but that's two for me. Yeah, he popped me twice while I'm on the pad. And I try to get him again, but he's just hit, keep hitting the pad and not my frog. Like he's trying to blow through the pads. Yeah, you wanna buy a set? How much is it? Oh, I got hit. I got hit. Yeah! Jimbo back in the lead. <laughs> he's, 
Hey, 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 you want to buy some frogs? The hell? I casted it right on top of one. Oh! There you go! Dude, that was sick! You saw that jump? Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, <laughs> that was freaking crazy. Dude. I casted it right on top of his head. Oh look, he's not even, he's just water skiing. Oh my god. Okay, he woke up. He woke up. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like so relaxed. There's like. A Oh, at least you hooked them a good spot. You get them up easily. Three, three. We're a tie. Yeah, I really want to, like, I don't know why. I love yellow perch. They're like, I feel like they're a very underrated. <laughs> Not like fighting wise. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's another one too over there. But this guy's huge. No. I saw how like dolphin died down the water. Yeah. Where's his mate at? Oh! <sighs> Woo! Oh, he spit it. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, I caught this snakehead, and, oh, and it's gone. Ha! Oh, there it goes. I was going to show it to you guys a little closer, but man, he was huge. But he snaked out of my hand. I don't have the tiger claw grip, man. Nope. Oh, well. It still counted, though. Yeah. Oh, here it goes. Ooh. Yeah, I saw it. Here's a dinky. Alright, I'm gonna pull over the side, give first aid fishing some room. Maybe he'll catch the other guy right there. Look at this guy. He ate that frog. Here it goes. Small guy. But I'll take it. Am I recording? Good. Whoop! Touch the kayak. It counts. For you? Yeah? Since you lost yours for your catching cook, this one goes to first date. It's shaking, but this goes to first date fishing for his catching cook. But uh, we won't tell Kelsey what it is. I'm liking those heavy cover right there. Like, it's like amazingly good for some reason. So I'm going back here. <clears throat> Me? I, I just look for spots that I'll cast into. Like right here, I see some opening right here, right? And I just cast into it. Uh, um, better aim maybe? Oh. <laughs> Got him, but I keep breaking my freaking reel. I got my uh, knob came off. Here's another snake. But look at this. This thing keeps coming off because I, I dropped this earlier. And uh, yeah, just keep coming off. But here's another snakey. They're all in here. Oh God, oh God. Wasp, wasp, man. Spiders, spiders all, running all over my freaking kayak. Wasp, wasp, spider, 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 look, 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 spider, look, spider, 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 spider. Yeah, that's, that's the guy. <laughs> Swimming spiders, man. Just walk on top of water like, oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Jesus Christ, where's that freaking water? Yo, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't move anymore. Don't move anymore. Oh, she's right on you. Oh, my God, we found a wasp. Hi. Oh, yeah, it was on you. You have five of them right behind you. Five? Yeah. Oh guys, this was a tough day. I mean, it was a cold front. It started off 59 degrees when I got out my door. And the morning was terrible. I think it took about four hours before first day fishing. And right there. And he's still casting because he's still trying to beat me. He caught four fish. I caught 
six fish. So I won. But um, I think uh, he's going to go home and do some more cooking. So his day is not over yet. He got to go all the way down to Dover. But Mike, did you have fun here today in this crazy Ooh. swamp waters? Yeah, it was actually really tough at first. Like I, I started to get some thoughts. Man. I was like, yo, maybe this ain't the day. And then it got a little warmer out here. Things started to pick up a little bit. We actually found, well, Jimmy found, they were hiding like really deep in this stuff. I think uh, with the hurricane, what happened was the water was high and everything's just hiding in cover. So the snakeheads are in cover. Uh, barely any time I saw anything that opened until the wind picked up, the shadow was out, and that's the only time I saw snakeheads are popping in the water. But it was tough, but you know what? Fishing is fishing. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it takes a while before you find them, you figure out the pattern. And I'm glad that we have, and this guy is gonna have a good meal. Heck yeah, man. And the fish, you know what they didn't do? What's up? They didn't wait. They didn't. Because <laughs> they, they don't. <laughs> they don't, they truly <laughs> don't, man. All right, guys, uh, hopefully with this end of summer, the dog day summer is gonna end, fall is gonna be right around the corner. Maybe we'll get these, uh, this guy right here onto some other fish, other species. So stick around for more fishing with First Day Fishing.